Hi everyone! Today we are going to be working on my granny's favorite dishcloth. And we are going to be knitting that and we are going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone! It's Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be doing a knitted dishcloth and we're doing my granny's favorite pattern. So we're using some Barnett Handicrafter cotton. Okay, and the ball says to use size 4.5 millimeter knitting needles. So and take that off. Find my end. Okay, so the f I am using 4.5 size with knitting needles. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to make a slip knot. Okay, so the way I t make a slip knot, and I'm going to do this over the white so you can watch, is I take my yarn, I cross it in behind. Okay. And then I hold the crossed part in my fingers, my middle finger and my thumb. Now I take the tail and I put it around the top part of the loop and I put it through the loop at the bottom, pull it tight. And there you go. See, I've got a slip knot. So let's try that again. So I take my yarn. I put the tail behind the working yarn. I hold that in my fingers. Okay. Then I take the tail and I wrap it around the top of the top loop and I put it through the loop I've created at the bottom. Okay, can you see that? And then I pull tight and that makes a slip knot. Okay, so um, there's other ways to make slip knots. You can Google it, but this is the way I make them. Okay, so I put my slip knot on my knitting needle. Now this is how I cast on. Everyone casts on differently. This is how I cast on. I go into my slip knot, yarn over, and then I pull it and I get a loop. Now instead of leaving the loop on that needle, I put it onto the needle I just was working from. Okay, so now I've got one, two loops. Then I go into the space between the two loops, yarn over, pull it tight, pull it out. It's on this needle, but I'm putting it back on that one. This is what we call casting on. I want to cast on four stitches. So it's a very good project for a beginner because you're not casting on a bazillion stitches. You're casting on four. Okay. Now we are going to knit those stitches. So you go in from the front out to the back. Okay, yarn over. Now we leave that stitch on the wrong needle and we pop off the back. And then we're going to do that again. So in from the front out the back, yarn over, pull through, in through the front, out through the back, pull through, in from the front, out through the back, pull through. So we have just knitted four stitches, okay? Now, this is what we've got to do. We are going to build a dishcloth from corner to corner. So we are going to put, we're going to do a basic knit, okay? In from the front, out to the back, yarn over, pull through, okay? Leave it on that needle. In from the front, out the back, yarn over, pull through, 
and remove from the other needle. Now we have to increase the stitch this row. So we're going to just put our yarn to the front. So you see how our yarn is to the front of the needle? We're going to put our yarn to the front and then do a normal stitch. So from the front to the back, yarn over, pull through. Okay. And then for the next stitch, in from the front, yarn over, pull through. Now on our needle, we should have five loops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now every row from now on, you are going to increase one stitch. So what we're going to do is a normal stitch. And the first stitch is always going to be kind of loose. Okay. So you want to keep your tension. So we're doing two stitches yarn over. You always do two stitches yarn over and then you go and do your next normal stitch. Okay, and then you just knit to the end of the row. See that? Okay, so let's try again. Next row. So now we've got six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're always going to knit two stitches. One, two, then we bring our yarn to the front and just knit the rest of the row. Okay, so here we go. So let's see. Now I like variegated, that's multicolored yarn. I like variegated yarn for these dishcloths. This is a good way to learn to increase. So if you're, you're struggling with increasing in other projects, just quickly whip up a dishcloth. You know, a dishcloth doesn't take too terribly long as long as you don't get sidetracked like I do. And it'll help you get into the, the habit of increasing by one. So we're gonna, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches now. So we're gonna put our, yarn, our needle in, do a knit. Then we're going to do another knit, yarn to the front. That's all we're doing is we're just bringing that yarn to the front. And then we're just going to do knit to the end of the row. But when we're done our row, we should have eight stitches. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, and we're going to start getting a design that has these little spaces. I don't know if you can see it very well. See, there's kind of, you'll see it more as you keep going. So, again, regular knit. Okay. Knit one. Knit two. Yarn to the front. And just knit the rest of the row. Okay, and if you want to count each row, feel free to count each row. Dishcloths, I find, are the best thing to learn how to make. Best thing to learn how to make, but also the best thing to practice when you're first learning to knit. And you see how we're getting that design, that kind of holy design? Can you see it now? See, there's, the, there's holes there. Okay, and see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, we're going to keep doing this until we have 60 stitches, okay? So I'm not going to make you watch me do that until I get 60 stitches because that would be awfully boring. So you're going to um, pause here, go do your 60, and then we're going to start the decrease for this dishcloth. So go do that and then come meet me back here. Oh, and if you haven't had a chance to like and subscribe yet, take a moment and do that. Like, subscribe, and if you want a notification, just hit that little bell. Okay, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I've got 60 stitches on my needle. Okay. Whoa, and I just pulled them off. Don't do that. So we save them 
there you go. You got an extra tutorial. How to save stitches you pull off your needle. So there's what we're looking at so far. And you see there's that pattern I was talking about that has the holes along the edge. Okay. So now we are going to do a decrease row. So we've got 60 stitches. Now we're, all of our rows are going to be a decrease. So we do our knit stitch. So you go in from the front, out the back, yarn over. Okay, that's the first stitch. Now we're going to go into two stitches at the same time. See that? Two stitches, same time. We're going to go yarn over, pull through both of them. Take them off your needle. Now we're bringing that yarn to the front. The reason we bring the yarn to the front is to make that little hole. That's how we get that pattern, okay? Now, once again, we're going to go through two stitches, yarn over, pull through both stitches, and then we're going to knit to the end of the row, okay? We are going to do this every single row until we're down to four stitches on your knitting needle, okay? So, we want to get these knitted. And if we've done it right, we should end up with 59 stitches on our needle. Okay, so let's get this done. So in from the front, out the back, yarn over, pull through. See? Very easy to knit. It's just, for me, I'm far slower at knitting than I am at crocheting but I do prefer knitting when it comes to um, clothing. It's very seldom that I crochet a piece of clothing that I absolutely love, whereas any kind of knitted clothing I make myself, I usually just love it. So, I don't know what it is. I like crocheting for toys and for blankets and for dishcloths and, and that kind of thing, but I do crochet far faster than I knit. But I was also taught knitting far later in life than crocheting. So my grandmother taught me to crochet when, gosh, I started crocheting when I was maybe three, but knitting, my stepmother taught me maybe when I was ten. So... And I just, when it comes to knitting, I do far less knitting than I do crocheting. <clears throat> okay, so we're almost to the end of our row. So, if we've done this right, we should have 59 stitches on our needles. Okay, and it's very important to do that yarn to the front. Um at the beginning of the row there because if you don't then you're not going to have that little hole to continue the pattern, right? Okay, so three more stitches. There we go. Okay, so let's do a count. If we've done this right, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and 59. So we did it right. So we're back at the other end. I'm going to show you one more time how to do the decrease. So you knit the first stitch. Okay, then you're doing two stitches at once, two stitches at once, yarn over, pull through both stitches and take them off. Bring that yarn to the front. Now do another two stitches. Go through both off and then continue with your regular knit to the end of the row. 
and that is how you decrease. So every row you should go down one stitch. Now you want to keep doing this until you go down to four stitches. Okay, so we're going to meet back here once we're down to four stitches. And if you haven't had a chance, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you, there's another kind of uh, dishcloth you'd like to see made. Put it in the comments or you know you could go to my Facebook page which is Little Gems Creations 1 um, and uh, you could put in a picture of your finished dishcloths. I would love to see those for sure for sure. Okay so continue to the end of the year rows until you're down to four stitches okay and then we'll meet back. Okay. So I'm down to my last four stitches. This is my dishcloth so far. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do what's called casting off. So we are going to knit, oops, knit the stitch, knit the next stitch. And then that stitch that we knitted first, we're going to pick up and pull over the stitch that we just knitted. Then we're going to stitch one knit and up over that knit. Do one more knit, up over that knit. And that's it. Hmm. Where are my scissors? Hmm. We're going to cut. We're going to cut with scissors that I can't seem to find. And, geez, what did I do with them? Oh, I see them. Okay. Ta-da, scissors. Okay, we're going to cut, put our tail through our loop, pull tight, Hide your threads, and there you go. You have your washcloth. I make mine nice and big. So, yeah, there you go. And that's how you do my granny's favorite washcloth. So, like I said, hide the threads. If you want, you can block it. Blocking it. I can do a quick video on how to block it. And if I do do a video on blocking, I'll put it in the description. But that would be a coming soon video because I have not done one yet. But isn't that a nice little washcloth? And see, it's got the little holes on the side as a design. There we go. So thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and uh, hit the little bell if you want to have notifications. Talk to you later. Bye now.